Welcome to Brian is Jericho. And today's review is the AEW Chris Jericho, Le Champion, is here and he's ready to fight. And his figure absolutely looks crazy detailed. Uh, you know the story with these, they're really hard to find now, apparently. Uh, Wave 1 has been a clusterfuck, basically. And the Young Bucks and the rest are going to be really difficult to find. So you're going to have to go to the Bay of E to get them. That's eBay for those of the uninitiated. And yeah, so I am happy to get the first two. And as you've seen from some of my other Jazzwares reviews, I was buzzing for these to drop. So let's see if they live up to the hype. Hey, e -dub. So here we go with Jericho. My first, I'm going to unbox this guy as well. If you watch my Omega review, you know what to expect. So what I'm going to do this time, I know a bit more. Let's look at his box first, Unrivaled Collection. We've got Jericho on the side there. Chris Jericho, Series 1, number 6. A plus, Unrivaled Collection. On the side, you've got AEW. Picture of Jericho again, Unrivaled Collection. And here you can see him doing the Judas Effect on Kenny Omega at Double or Nothing from Las Vegas, Nevada. On the bottom, you've got all the rubbish, rubbish stuff. So let's get Jericho out of the box. And just use a knife here for a second. My knife. I'll be going, I'll be going, I'll be going. Out. Yeah, I love that song. So Jericho, Jericho, my man. I know it doesn't say that before. Keep on going in the comments. So, again, if you're unboxing, if you're a mint on card guy, there's not going to be a way you can take Jericho out and put him back in because they've made the boxes so well. So, let's get rid of the box and throw that down there. And there is his lovely hat. Hello, Malibu Stacy came with a hat. Simpsons references. If you don't know those, don't watch my channel, please. So, here is Jericho. Um, first things first, before I go any further, does he go well with his rival Kenny Omega? Yes, he does. So the scale is really good on these figures. And they look good together. As for another comparison, we have good old Nakamura-san, who is quite tall, so this is good scale again. So that's class. Now, the one thing we didn't have on Omega was tattoos. Jericho has one there, and that's really nice. He comes with this soft, almost velvety scarf. Which is really, really cool. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but did Jericho's jacket not have a load of spikes? Like really high spikes, or was that another one? I don't know. Because if he did, that's kind of, it's kind of uh, inaccurate. But yeah, let's get the, the clothes off of Jericho. That sounds bad. And again, we've got the plastic inside the jacket. So just be careful when you're pulling it off. And that shows how new it is. And I think this is a good idea because it stops staining as well. I think that's why it's in there. So it's a very clever idea, I think, actually. I didn't think of that when I was doing the Kenny Omega review. But I can only imagine that's what's, what it's for, is to stop staining the figures. Because they could be in the box for a while. And again, the quickest way to get this plastic off is just pop, pop the hands off. Like so. But yeah, I, I didn't even think of that. So a lot of the WWE figures, when they arrived, suffered from staining, which is basically the, the coloring of the, the clothes. 
that they come with would, would attach itself to the figure basically and ruin it in some cases so if that's what that's for and I'm pretty sure I can't think of any other reason why other than newness which is much of a muchness if that's what that's for that's really clever of uh, Jasmers because they would have seen that problem in the WWE line and foresaw them having the same so decided to fix it before it even happened so maybe I'm giving them too much credit but for me that is a great idea straight off the bat I can't believe I didn't think of it when I was doing the Kenny review but got there eventually I suppose So I'll just pop the hands back on Jericho there now. So you can see they've got the dad bod right down for Jericho. He's quite, his torso is quite thick. And let's get that thing off as well. And he looks great. The face is absolutely brilliant. He just looks like an annoying son of a bitch. And the leader of the inner circle. So you can look there at his tattoos as well. The tattoo work is absolutely insane. Look at that detail. So good. And they've definitely like a... They definitely matched Mattel here. 100%. And even the little tattoos there as well. The face sculpt is brilliant. I would say straight off the bat this figure is 100 times better than Omega's one. But I think that's because they've got the skin tone right. They've got dad bod right. And the tattoos, again, are amazing. I can't hold that against Omega because he doesn't have tattoos. The hat as well is absolutely perfect. <laughs> and the second hands are with the gloves. So you can do the full outfit. I'm surprised he didn't come with those on in the packet. But uh, this Jericho is... This is probably the best Jericho I've ever owned. And I owned most of the Mattel ones as well. Straight off the bat, I'm not going to sugarcoat it there. I did like some of the Mattel ones, but I always felt the, they got the, the articulation and the shape wrong. But this guy, they have absolutely nailed it. So Le Champion has got the best figure easily so far. And I'm, I'm trying, we still have to get, I still have to get Cody and a few of the others. Obviously in wave two, but this one is the best one easily so far. Articulation. He does the full head thing up and down. A little bit of left to right. Around in circles. Double jointed elbows. Wrist rotation. You get up and down, down and up on that. And it's on the, the waist kind of on a ball joint. Legs, the full splits. You get tie rotation rotation you get double jointed knees and you get boot rotation and ankle rockers so this guy is absolutely phenomenal guys these figures i think like this is still this is still only series one so if jericho is this good already and omega is easily passable as well how good are these going to be when they start doing them like the likes of uh luchasaurus and all these guys as well they're going to be class, I think. And I'm glad I'm getting in on the bottom floor with them. Because the one, there is one thing I would say. They could come with punching hands. Which I didn't notice again until Omega was gone. But like you can do all the rest of the moves possible with these guys. So like straight away you've got the wall to Jericho. And usually with the Mattel figures it takes ages to get them in the right position. I did that in two seconds. So yeah guys. That has been my review. Of Chris Jericho. And like with the, with the double joint elbows you can get Judas effect really easily. So yeah. If you're interested in wrestling figures guys. Go out and grab these if you can find them. And yeah. We'll see you later guys. Have a good one. Bye.